With work about to begin on a $2 billion project to construct the Grenada National Resort, Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell has assured that close attention will be paid to the concerns of citizens regarding the development. His commitment came during a sod turning in Livera on Sunday. And I'm happy to note that the Hengsheng Group has been engaged in dialogue with citizens and residents. In fact, on my way in, I passed one person protesting. And this is Grenada. People have the right to share their views. They have the right to share their concerns. And as the government, we have the right to listen and pay attention and address their concerns. And so I'm heartened uh, that the group has been engaging in consultations with the communities to listen to their concerns. But we also have to be honest. Development also has a price. And you cannot have development without some environmental impact. You cannot have development without changing the physical landscape and the physical infrastructure. What is required is for the change, changes to be done in a responsible, sensitive, and sustained manner. And Mr. Lee and his group have given us the assurance uh, that they intend to do so. The Grenada National Resort is currently the largest foreign investment project in Grenada with $70 million invested in the land acquisition. The CBI approved the project is expected to be a world-class resort development nestled on approximately 412 acres of land in close proximity with the Livera National Park and Beach. It has been developed by the Singapore Heng Sheng Group. Chairman Yang Fo Li says the groundbreaking signals a milestone development for the company. With the fading of pandemic, the global economic recovery and the orderly resumption of work and production in all walks of life, the construction of the Grenada National Resort will also break through. As a national key project in Grenada, the Grenada National Resort is of great significance in guiding the transformation of Grenada's tourism industry from sightseeing to high-end leisure resort, improving its tourism reception cap capacity and service level, promoting local economic development and employment. Tourism Minister Honorable Lennox Andrews reiterated one of the objectives of his government for 2023, which is to ensure the establishment of community tourism projects and activities. We say to you as developers that we would like to see our farmers, performing artists, visual artists, designers, painters, sculpturers, taxi drivers, wayside vendors, handicraft makers, small-scale manufacturers, and agro-processors be the direct beneficiaries of this project. Moreover, we hope that many Grenadians will be employed right here, especially in the high-end paying positions of this hotel, for which they will be well qualified. Honorable Dennis Conwell, Parliamentary Representative for St. Patrick East, in whose constituency the Grenada National Resort will be constructed, sees positive benefits for the rural parishes. This project here is a game changer for Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinic. It's a gateway to all the islands around us, and therefore we must rise to the occasion and support what is happening here today. I believe there is merit in basically engagement and consultation, and therefore we all ought to be given a listening ear. But at the end of the day, we ought to remember that there is merit in the greater good for Grenada, Caribou, and Pitimatic, and not just those who want to basically develop this country in silos. We want to make sure that this country is developed in a way that it benefits our investors who come here to do it, as well as our people. The project, Honorable Conwell says, is one that demonstrates that the citizenship by investment is not just about selling passports, but also aiding in the transformational agenda of his government.